Um, so whose is this, by the way? So this, is, this is a nice drawing, but these, he has some really nice stuff on this one, I thought. Um, with, this, with this guy, the way he's, uh, he's, he's, he's actually kind of leaning, I'm assuming he's leaning up against a pole or a wall, right? Um, so in this, with this uh, demo, I'm actually going to talk about an elef element of, um, of squash and stretch. Um, also with pushing the pose, making him feel like he's really leaning in there, okay? So it's like we have this nice almost elephantitis head, you know, with him. Um, but it gets kind of busy in the back here, and I really want to I really want to push all this interest up in here because it's, it's actually quite an interesting take on this person, okay? And how he actually really pushed it. But the best thing to do would be actually is simplify the back part where he's actually leaning, okay? Um, I talked m before about um, you know, leading the eye in terms of composition. That's kind of the same thing here. But let's just simplify with a nice, I'm just getting a nice S curve around the back, right? So this might be his leg kicked out. Let's feel him plant that leg in the back, right? Okay. And this would be the simple or stretch side. And the squash side would really pull out where his head would be, right? So we can get it kind of complex on this side. What's good also is instead of uh, whatever your first initial lines are that you put down, um, make, a, make a simple, definite, distinct line or shape, okay? Um, if it's a head, something like this, and then go back in and break it up. You know, whatever it is over here. Okay, does that make sense? Um, instead of actually going like contour and just kind of trying to look up and oh, there's a plane change here and the plane change there. Be efficient. So actually find a nice swoop maybe in there. Um, maybe actually your break would be, can everyone see by the way? Can you kind of tell what's going on? Okay. Um, so see where maybe we actually, our first initial line might be that chin, right? And then we're going to break up the head into the brow cranium, really get that squish shape in there. Let's push those eyebrows a little bit more as well, okay? And I don't want to make it, I want to make it interesting and appealing and push that squash side and keep the stretch side simplified, but you don't want to make it too complex where it's hard to read, okay? And in that initial capture, what I might actually go for, because I'm taking time as I'm going over this and just showing you how to actually address it better. But you're like, well, he doesn't stand still that long. How can I think about all that stuff that you're talking about and you know, execute at the same time? Um, you don't want to forget to, you can just do a quick, few quick lines of the actual pose, okay? And then go back in after he's walked away, after he's moved after you take a good snapshot of what he looks like, you know, or his essence or his character traits you want to elaborate on, um, you can actually dive into that after he's walked away if, if you've captured it correctly. Does that make sense? Yeah? Okay. I'm actually gonna push this a little bit more. So if you see, I'm really designing each form of his face, you know? I'm not just actually sketching it out. I'm making actual definite plane for the bottom of the nose. Um, that smile line, um, you know, from the corner of the flare of his nostril down to the corner of his mouth, right? But he's obviously not smiling. I'm pushing, you know, his expression a little bit more. And on a character like this, maybe those bags are really something that I want to, once again, elaborate on. And the, and the slant of his brow, almost like the fat pad on the upper part of the eye, right? And instead of, instead of doing like this, you know, this sketch line of the hair, right? It's all these different follicles. Make, try to make maybe, maybe make a definite shape at first. And it's in terms of what you want to do for a style. But for this, I'm just trying to, have, to show you how to really design the forms a little bit better, okay? 
and then maybe break up the hair. Being careful to avoid a tangent with the ear at the same time as you bring it back into the head shape. And was he hold, is he holding something? Hand in his, his pocket? Okay, but his, his, his screen left hand. He was, he was, I'm sorry? Oh, okay, all right, no, that's cool, that's cool. So once again, make, whatever, whatever you have the guy doing, you know, make it clear. And sometimes, you know, especially when you're out um, drawing from life from pub, from public standpoint, things like hands and feet are become difficult because it's usually a lot of people, especially me, you know, us Jews always talk with our hands and it's the same thing with the Italians. But, um, you, you know, it's kind of, it's part of a cultural trait. But always people talk a lot with their hands, you know. Um, it's a way of expressing. So sometimes it's hard to capture, you know, the exact forms and, and kind of interesting traits of hands. Try to come up with a shortcut, um, you know, a, a way of actually doing a fist, you know, maybe throwing one finger up as he's grabbing around the jacket. And let's make it clear that, that there's a jacket, maybe actually bring it around the back there, okay? Because then that's actually kind of allowing us to put together um, kind of what's going on and what this is, you know? Um, if you want to get really specific, you know, you could start to design a collar in there if you wanted to. Once again, um, staying consistent with the squash and stretch idea. Uh, we have, you know, the stretch on the side of his, his uh, arm as it's going into his pocket. And then this is the squash. I'm going to actually raise his pocket a little bit. Make it interesting. We'll bring out the belly a little bit as well. And then this will be the squash part of the knee. This will be the, or the squash part of the leg. This will be the stretch, stretch side. Make it feel like he's actually leaning against whatever's there. And don't be afraid to actually indicate what's there. You did a little bit, but you could do it just a little bit more. Really helps the story. Remember, props, additional characters um, always help the story, OK? And help communicate your idea. I didn't change too much in the character face, um, just in terms of how he handled it. And if you want to actually add some, some edgier um, elements, you know, maybe really square off the shoulders, that's fine. All right, let me stop here to show you. So this is what you had and what you turned in. Um, and it's great sketch. Actually, there's a lot of nice character in there, and you're actually really pushing um, you know, the subject a little bit. Uh, but you can actually learn to push the pose a little bit more and then bring a design element in of squash and stretch, which is what I did here. Okay. So I think you can see the difference, right? Um, any questions? No? Okay. So that's one element designed to, to think about in, des in designing from life. All right.